My name's Cheryl and I live down in Morecambe. I was born here, recently moved back to the area a couple of years ago and um, working full time I wanted to do some volunteering which I've always done and then we were once a month basically all meeting up and doing extreme gardening as I call it or green therapy. So this particular uh, area, Wharton Crag, is, is basically a limestone outcrop and um, because of these special sort of limestones you're getting um, very thin layers of soils and it encourages certain plants to thrive here and that attracts the butterflies and that's really why it's so unique and why we do manage it very carefully as a nature reserve for those species. Although I lived in a city for a long, long time, I'm not and never have been a city person. It was functional for work, so this is like finding my oasis in life. My, my grandparents used to bring us up here, so wherever I am in the world, this place is always going to be here. And I think everybody should have access to areas like this. I'm Anne Abbott and my father was the manager of Wharton Crag Quarry. He was known as John Clark, but Nobby by his colleagues. Wimpy's acquired this area in 1944. He was here from the very beginning and he stayed here until the quarry closed in the early 60s. I remember coming up here quite a lot. We lived in Wharton until I was seven. I mean, I think the history of Out the Crag, I mean, it's just awesome, really. And it's such a, a thing on the landscape. You know, you know where it is. You can see it from quite a distance, even though it is weathered now. I mean, the happy memories, obviously, because I love my dad and uh, he worked really hard here. The view over the bay from here is absolutely stunning. In winter, we tend to come in and think about, right, what areas of the crag do we want to enhance to benefit the wildlife in the area? We are seeing in recent years an increase in ash dieback. We're currently just concentrating on uh, removing any trees that might be at risk to people and just to allow a bit more sunlight to come in, help those wildflowers grow, uh, which will benefit the butterflies. I think local people really um, have this sort of sense of ownership of uh, water and crag. You know, it's on their doorstep and people use it for so many different reasons. You know, it's great to have a community that wants to look after their landscape because that's half the battle with protecting any landscape. I think more and more we're realising that these landscapes are truly special and they're at risk. You know, I help maintain the site, but it's just a privilege to work here. It's grounding. There is something about the place that's magical and does make you feel better. Yeah. I just feel really refreshed when I've been up here. I wouldn't swap it for the world. If these areas didn't have volunteers, we would lose some of the habitats. And it's really important, I think, for around here to keep what we've got. It's to give something back to society. Um, and now I'm volunteering, I feel like I, I've got a bit of ownership of it and it belongs to me, so it's just good for the soul, good for the soul, definitely. <laughs>